Really never anticipated that this result could have happened. Less than 24 hours after election results shocked the nation. Everyone was saying that Hillary was going to win, actually. And the borderland. Really unexpected. There's no shortage of opinion here in the heavily Democratic region. I'm frightened. I'm frightened for what this means for our country, particularly those of us who are Latinos, those of us who do live on the border. So with Juarez and El Paso as my backdrop, I only needed to say one thing. Let's talk about Trump. Hopefully he doesn't go crazy with deportation or immigration reform. I set out to find different types of people, voters, non-voters, kids, young, old, Mexican, and American. I kind of felt as my country was a disgrace. I went to UTEP, Scenic Drive, San Jacinto Plaza, and the Stanton Street Bridge. A lot of um, minority groups feel unappreciated. Five hours and 32 interviews later, I found one person who was pleased with our president-elect. You like him? Yeah. Wait, wait, please come talk to me, please. This guy. We need somebody strong that can stand for the for the people and speak out. But a lot of them agreed on one thing. Donald Trump, congratulations. Congratulations. You're our president. You're our 45th president. We just need to accept the reality and just hope that uh, he does better than what we're thinking. We need to rally as a country and support whomever is sworn in as president. Ashley Claster, CBS 4 at 10.